Shit. Yes. We're it went what? It went oh, okay. Hey guys. Jessica here, Free Family Coach. Um, so this video is about canine enrichment and how it doesn't have to be difficult. Um, so my husband and I, he had a um, business meeting yesterday and what are we doing? All kinds of smells in here, aren't there, Kim? Let's not go that way. Come on back this way. There's a ladder here. I can't get through. Come on. Oh, now I got stuck. Okay. There we go. So we stayed at this house last night, and I'm going to show you um, around a little bit because we brought Kim with us. So let me flip this around. And she really, really, really enjoyed the house. When we first got here, she went everywhere, all around the house, sniffing and smelling everything. So we'll start at the front door. Um, because when we came in, it was something new. So she got to use her nose, which is like, one of the best things you can do for canine enrichment is to let them use their nose because when they use their nose, they're using their whole body and especially their brain. And then, so we came in and we had this beautiful new property and she, uh, my husband took her for a walk out on the actual property. We're on a vineyard. Um, so I'm gonna show you, it's a little chilly, but I'm gonna show you the property from the windows so you can see how beautiful it is and how she got to not only explore the inside of the house, but she also got to explore the whole property around outside of the house. And the view from the back of the house is just incredible. This is the side. Um, she went all the way around. It has a wraparound porch. She is thrilled and loving it and she is still exploring this morning um so she's using her nose and her brain and she's figuring it all out and so that's why i say thank you kimbo canine enrichment doesn't have to be difficult it can be something as simple as you're staying in a new place and you take your dog with you and you let them explore you don't confine them to a crate you don't put them, you know, in a room and say, be good and stay there. Um, you actually let them explore and use their senses and feel their way around and smell their way around. All the new smells is one of the best and simplest things you can do um, for your dog. So I'm just gonna like kind of show you how amazing the view is here. She went out this morning. My husband took her for a walk all around the property. So she got to smell all the smells and explore all around inside the home last night and outside on the property this morning. So it really doesn't have to be difficult at all. And if it's going in and out, if the video is going in and out, I apologize. We are way up high on the top of a mountain in Temecula, which is, um, what are they? Do they call it the new Napa Valley? <laughs> Temecula. This is this is oh, this is, yeah, we're in Duluth, but uh, that's right. Just outside of Temecula in Duluth, which actually is supposed to um, grow even better grapes than Temecula. So a lot of the Temecula wineries are buying up properties in Duluth to um, extend their line uh, and have more, more grapes. So we went this way first last night. Kim, how excited are you? How excited are you? Where are we? Where are we? There is a big stain on the middle of the floor. Where are we? Are we in a big house? 
We stay in the night? Yeah. Let's go back. You look at the house? Oh, yeah. Okay. Kim, where are we? What's in this big old house? What'd she think? Oh, there she goes. What do you think, baby? Good girl. Wow, you've never seen a big couch like that, have you? <laughs> we don't have a sectional. Hey, baby. And she explored all around. Oop. Oh, look. Look at that. That view from the side of the yard. It's beautiful. This is where we were taking her last night before we, because we, didn't, we got here late and it was dark. We couldn't see the property. So we took her right out to that little patch of grass uh, a few times last night to go potty. So she got to explore everything inside uh, last night. She's still exploring everything inside. What you got, Kim? What you got? What have you got? <gasps> Who are you? Uh oh. What happened with your toy? It's not as important. <laughs> you got it straight? and everything outside this morning. Seriously, some of the simplest but best canine enrichment you can provide for your dog. Let's see, our Kimmy. Our Kimmy, she's following me around. All right. It doesn't have to be difficult. Like I said, it can be just as simple as bringing her with you to a new place for your dog. I said, I said her. <laughs> yes. Um, to bring your dog to a new place with you. And I do talk about canine enrichment in my new ebook, um, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. I give you the entire foundation, everything I tell all of my in-home clients, um, seven steps that will change your dog's life and your life it's for awesome. the better. You gotta get it. It is. It's, um, oh, I put the link in the description bit.ly slash seven steps dog training. So you can just click the link in um, the description of the video. But this property is absolutely beautiful. The house is beautiful. Kim has had, hey Dara, um, Kim has had a wonderful time sniffing around. She's behind me somewhere. There she is. Sniffing around and smelling everything and really it doesn't have to be difficult You can really do something as simple as taking them to a new place and letting them take it all in and smell it uh, Smell everything because that's how dogs um, Figure out the world around them is with their sense of smell. So let them do it um, It's the best canine enrichment. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you for touring the property with me. Um, it's a little chilly, <laughs> but you could see how beautiful it is out there. I'll see you guys on the next video.